I've been working as a software developer for five years now and still is a profession that kind of guarantees that you will make $100,000 in Canada than software engineering. Now, some of the most popular universities for studying computer science in Canada include University of Water. What's up YouTube? It's Ivanch here. Welcome back to my channel. We all know that software engineering or tech jobs are one of the highest paying jobs in Canada. And on an average, if you are working in the tech industry, especially as a software developer, you're more likely to earn way more than someone who is working in accounting or finance or marketing or other such jobs. And I also have a few videos on my YouTube channel talking about why software engineering specifically is a really good profession in Canada. And in my opinion, it is the easiest way to make over $100,000. If you are someone who has a goal of making $100,000 or if you want to choose a profession that kind of guarantees that you will make $100,000 in Canada, then software engineering or software development is the one. Now, obviously it's not going to be a cakewalk. You will have to work hard, but if you are willing to put in the work, then you can definitely earn $100,000 per year in Canada, if not several hundred thousand dollars per year. So if you are someone who's planning to study in Canada and are looking for courses to study in Canada, maybe after grade 12, or maybe if you already have a bachelor's degree in maybe engineering or any of the other STEM fields, or even if your prior educational background has nothing to do with technology or computer science, and still if you want to become a software developer in Canada, work as a professional software developer in Canada, then this video is for you. In this video, we will talk about all the things that you need to do in order to build a career in this very profession. We'll talk about the minimum basic qualifications that you need in order to become a software developer. And I will also tell you how is the job interview process like, what all is involved, and also some additional stuff that you need to do so that you have a clear understanding of what you are getting into, how to become a software developer, and how to get a job and start working as a software developer in Canada. But before we begin, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about studying and working in Canada. I make a lot of videos on these topics so make sure to check them out and I'm sure that you will not be disappointed but if you like and share this video with the friends and family then YouTube's algorithm will show this video to a lot more number of people and that will help my channel in a big big way so please make sure to do that and with that being said let's start this video so first of all if you want to get into this profession you need to understand what software development actually is so software development is basically giving instructions to a machine or to a computer and make it do something that you want it to do for example example on your phone you have various apps such as whatsapp or youtube etc so if you tap on that whatsapp app icon what happens next it opens the whatsapp application but do you know how that happens in the back end somebody a software developer has given specific instructions to the machine or to your phone that if somebody clicks on that icon you have to open that app now this is the most basic example that I could think of, but software development is basically this, you give instructions to a machine to do something that you want it to do. Now the next question that you may ask is how do you actually give instructions to a machine or to a phone or to a computer? Now that is done through something called as a programming language. So similar to how we use different languages to communicate with other people, a software developer also uses specific programming languages to communicate with the machine. Now there are so many types of programming languages out there and every one of them has a different use case and different pros and cons but the main job of a software developer is to use a programming language or even multiple programming languages to write instructions to give to the computer to give to the machine so that the machine could do something that the user wants and in order to learn a programming language you basically need two things one you need basic understanding of mathematics nothing crazy nothing super complicated just basic grade 10 level mathematics should be enough and number two you need a problem solving aptitude because coding or programming requires specific skills so that you can actually solve complex problems now writing code or learning a language is not really that complex but solving complex and challenging problems definitely requires you to have an aptitude for it and you don't have to be on with these skills you can actually cultivate these skills over time you can learn mathematics the basics of mathematics and you can develop a problem solving mindset and now let's discuss some of the ways in which you can actually develop these skills so the very first way and the most straightforward way is go to university and get a degree in computer science or computer engineering software engineering etc and through this four year degree program, the school will teach you all the skills that you need to know if you want to become a software developer. And you will also get a chance to work on projects, assignments, quizzes, etc. And all these things and all this experience will actually help you to be able to write code and get a job as a software developer. Now, some of the most popular universities for studying computer science in Canada include University of Waterloo, University of Toronto, UBC, University of Montreal, University of Alberta, etc. 
but these are not the only universities that can teach you these skills you can pretty much go to any university in Canada any good university in Canada and pretty much all universities in Canada have the same standard of education so rest assured that you will be able to learn all these skills but the only thing is that if you go to a bigger university a more popular university then you will get a lot more exposure in terms of the projects that you work on in terms of co-op opportunities and also the type of job opportunities that you might get after graduation but just in terms of learning the skill you can pretty much go to any university and you will be able to succeed as a software developer in Canada now the second way to learn software development is to go to a college in Canada and do a one or a two year diploma course or a certificate course that focuses on software development now these courses are mostly offered at colleges and they're not as detailed as a university degree or a university program but still they're good enough to teach you the basic fundamentals of software development computer science operating systems etc and then you can build on top of that improve your coding skills and become a better software developer now if you really want to study software development in Canada but you don't want to go to a university then I have compiled a list of the best software development courses that you can take at the top colleges in Canada in this very video so if you are interested then first watch this video till the end and then go to that video and check that out because it will give you a lot of information and a lot of clarity on what are the best courses that you can take in Canada I hope that it will give you some guidance and then you can decide which course is going to be the right course for you to study in Canada now what if you already have a degree or a diploma in some other field and now you want to switch careers to software development or software engineering but you don't want to go back to school and do a computer science degree or a diploma in computer science then what you can do in that case is that you can attend something known as a coding bootcamp now you can think of a coding bootcamp as a course as a certificate course that lasts from maybe a few weeks to a few months and throughout that course you'll be able to pick up a lot of the fundamentals of software development and you might also work on one or more projects that can actually give you some practical exposure so that you can actually get a feel of what it is like to work as a software developer and what type of projects you might have to work on once you start working as a software developer now you can think of the these boot camps as crash courses and they are obviously not as detailed as a university degree or a college diploma but still they are good enough to learn the basic fundamentals of computer science and they'll give you a pretty good idea about what software development is all about now these were some of the ways in which you could get some formal education about computer science and software development but if you are someone who's not interested in getting any formal education in software development even then you can start a career in this very profession and that's the beauty of the profession of software development or software engineering that anybody who can pick up all these skills can start working on projects and with practice improve their coding abilities and can also get a full-time job now if you want to become a self-taught software developer it is definitely doable but it will obviously be a lot more challenging because you have to learn the fundamentals of software development by yourself you have to pick up a programming language and keep practicing it again and again until you become really good and skilled at it but there are so many free resources on YouTube and content that you can actually consume and learn about the fundamentals of software development similar to what you would learn at a university or a college so you can basically learn everything that you can get in a formal education system through YouTube or through free material that is present all over the internet but you just need to put in the work ethic to actually learn about all those things so if you really want to do this I would highly recommend you to start with just one programming language that could be Python or Java or C sharp personally I would recommend you to go with Python first because that's easier to pick up it's similar to English in a lot of ways and the syntax is also quite simple as compared to all these other languages such as C sharp or Java so do that pick up one programming language become good at it do a few projects in that specific programming language such as building a website or a mobile app or even a game so that you can get some hands-on experience writing code and working on some real life projects and this will give you a pretty good understanding of what software development is all about and then you can build on top of it and learn new skills that can actually help you become job ready so these were some of the basic or the minimum qualifications that you need to have if you want to work as a software developer in Canada or anywhere in the world but you're learning does not actually stop here this is just the beginning because as tech is evolving every single day there are new technologies new products that are launched and as a software developer you have to keep up with all these technological advancements because if you don't upskill yourself and learn all these new technologies that are coming up then it will be very difficult for you to move to a better job or to a more senior role over time 
I've been working as a software developer for five years now and still I learn new things pretty much every single day. So becoming a software developer is actually a continuous process. So you just have to keep working on yourself and keep improving your skills and become better every single day. I would also like to emphasize the importance of personal projects in the profession of software engineering or software development because whether you are studying software development at a university or in a college or even if you are a self-taught software developer, you need to work on some personal projects that you can actually showcase in your interviews and put on your resume because these projects are imperative to getting your first job or even your subsequent jobs once you start working in the industry. And it doesn't even have to be something too complicated when you're just starting out. Start working on some smaller projects and then start building on top of them as time passes as you become a more skilled software developer. Now let me also give you a brief overview of what is actually required to get a job as a software developer in Canada or anywhere in the world because studying the basics of computer science or fundamentals of software engineering is one thing and actually implementing them and getting your first job is a completely different thing. Because the job interview process for a software developer was Position is very different from any other type of job interviews that you might know of because these interviews can actually be a lot more practical and hands-on and companies want you to showcase your skills right in front of them in real time and that's basically why they're willing to pay top dollar to software developers who are actually skilled at what they do. Now there are different types of job interviews that you'll have to prepare for if you're looking to become a software developer or work as a software developer. The first one is called a behavioral interview and this is where you will meet a recruiter and maybe a hiring manager and they will ask you to go over your resume and your prior work experience and they will try to see if you are a good fit for that company and for that specific role or not. And this is also a chance for the recruiters to tell you more about the company and the job position that you've applied for and get you excited to work at that company. Company. Now in my opinion this interview, the behavioral interview is the easiest part of the whole software developer interview process and basically here you just need to have good communication skills and you just need to be able to showcase your prior work experience, the skills that you know, the technologies that you've used in the past and include all these things in your storytelling. The second type of interview is called a technical interview and this is basically where they decide whether you are a good software developer or not, whether you have all the skills that are required for this job or not. Whether you know how to code or not and whether you can actually solve a complex problem in a limited amount of time or not. Now depending on the type of company that you're interviewing with or the seniority of the position that you're applying to, this interview could actually be a series of multiple interviews where you will have to meet with different engineers from that company or from that team and work with them in order to solve a coding challenge or a coding problem. Now these coding challenges are not really trivial even if you know how to code you will still require some sort of an expertise or some sort of a skill to actually solve these problems because they require a very specific knowledge about data structures and algorithms and if you don't know these basic concepts then it'll be very difficult for you to solve these coding challenges at the time of an interview. Now once again depending on the seniority of your role you might also have to appear for a systems design interview which is where the companies are looking if you have a more high level understanding of the different processes and the different design patterns and whether you're competent enough to think of the bigger picture and figure out how to design the architecture of a software application. So I hope this gives you a basic understanding of what the interview process looks like once you become a software developer, once you already have all the skills that you need to become a software developer because when you actually step out into the real world and want to get a job as a software developer, you need to know about all these things and you need to prepare for them accordingly. For example, for behavioral interviews, you have to improve your communication skills and for technical interviews, you need to focus on data structures and algorithms and for that, you'll have to do a lot of lead code or look at other websites where you'll be able to practice all the different types of coding interviews and coding challenges. So you also need to do all this preparation if you actually want to get a job as a software developer just going to school or university or college or attending a boot camp is not going to be enough but having said that software development is a great profession it has basically unlimited potential for you to grow and to increase your salary and to become more competent and do meaningful work and that's basically why it's one of the most popular professions in today's time so I hope you guys found this video to be useful. If you have any questions related to software development or computer science, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. And if you haven't hit the like button or subscribe to my channel yet, then make sure to do that because it helps my channel in a big, big way. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.